Let's talk a little bit about books that we read to our kids or have them read to us, depending on where they are at developmentally. It's super important that we spend that time with them all the way through elementary school, just so that they continue that love of reading. The first book that I'm going to show you is the all-time favorite in my house as of right now. And I will say that I need to get one copy for each of my kids so that I can stop having to break up knockdown drag out battles over it. It is all better. This is one of our top sellers. It is out of stock all the time. Um, and it's super cute. It's a board book, so it's great for your little ones. Uh, but it is an easy enough read and catches their attention enough that, that your older kids would like it too. I had some kids at a booth event that were really in love with it and they were probably eight, nine years old. So it will work for beyond babyhood. It comes with five reusable stickers. The stickers are a thick uh, plastic type of material, so they're pretty thick. The sticky on them is the same type of sticky that goes on a lint roller, uh, a reusable lint roller. So you can actually kind of run these under some water and dry them off to get stuff off of the backs of them if they start to lose their stick. Um, and the story is super cute. So it goes through how the animal gets hurt and then we get to the page where they get to stick the band-aid on the boo-boo right there and they clean it, kiss it, and put a bandage on it. So it teaches empathy, and if your kids are anything like my kids, it teaches sharing because they have to take turns deciding who gets to put a band-aid on the animal's boo-boo. Um, it is adorable. It is one that if you do not have it in your library yet, you need to have it in your library. So if it is in stock, I would say go check right now if it is in stock buy it because you will never regret having it in your library. I know I don't. Next is one of our Billy B picture books. Now this is a newer line. Um, Billy B and Hey Jack are our early chapter reading books that help kids that are struggling to read and are just kind of getting into that chapter book phase. Uh, the author decided that they wanted to branch out into picture books, and that is exactly what she has done with Billy B. This works great for boys and girls because Jack is featured as well. He is Billy's best friend. In fact, Billy B and Hey Jack, the books themselves, your kids could read interchangeably. It doesn't matter, boy or girl, because Billy B and Jack are both in each other's books. Um, so in this one, Billy B goes to preschool and the teacher helps them to go on an underwater adventure. My four-year-old is obsessed with this book right now. It is her favorite. She just sits and looks at it for hours and tries to read it to herself, which is super cute. She's trying to memorize the story. Um, we love it. Next is my almost two-year-old's favorite, I'm a Dirty Dinosaur. There is a second book in this series that they just released, I'm a Hungry Dinosaur. Um, nice, bold illustrations. The interesting thing about the illustrations in this book is when the illustrator was drawing on the palettes, they actually painted with real dirt. So it looks like real dirt because it is real dirt. And awesome rhyming and getting their body involved, so a kinesthetic approach to getting them to sit still for reading because they can shake and slide and tap their bellies. Um, it's always a good time when we read this one in my house. The next couple books I'm going to feature are two of my three-year-old's favorites. They're by the same author. Um, they are Jonathan James and the What If Monster, which is a newer release, and Bob is a Unicorn. Both of these books have a plush that you can purchase to go with it for $12.99. It's nice and big and cuddly. Um, so we'll start with What If Monster. This is great if you have a little one who is maybe a little more anxious. Um, it starts with Jonathan James who has a What If Monster who follows him around all day and kind of scares him out of trying new things. But as we get to the halfway point of the book, Jonathan James turns it around and says, you know what, what if all of these good things happen instead of all of these bad things? And by the end, he makes his what if monster a happy what if monster because they think of all the good things that can happen instead of all of the bad. 
And then their Bob is a Unicorn is about an elephant who is not a unicorn, but is saying he's a unicorn because he is wanting to make believe and pretend. And all of his friends don't want to play with him because they think he's being weird. But by the end, he does find a friend to play with. Super cute. The plush with this, the unicorn horn actually comes off the top of his head. So it's just an elephant or it's the elephant pretending to be a unicorn. My three-year-old thinks this is the best book ever. Next is one of our Shine -a Light books. These are educational, but they're super fun. And I wish I had, I couldn't find a flashlight. I tried everywhere. Um, but what happens is you read the text and then it prompts you to look for something. And if you shine a light on the page underneath, the illustration will shine through and they can find what it asks you to find. Um, there's a Secrets of the Apple Tree, Secrets of the Garden, Secrets of Winter. There's this one, which is about the space station and about astronauts. My four-year-old loves to read the astronaut book. You wouldn't think a four-year-old girl wants to learn much about space, but she really gets into this. And she especially loves, at the end of this, it goes over all of the things that she probably learned about that she didn't know about before and gives you all of the definitions for that. So very fun, very educational. We love it. My almost one-year-old goes crazy when I pull this one out. This is one of our first Lift the Flat books. We have a whole series of them. Um, this one is a board book, obviously. Uh, they actually are all a board book in some form, but this is just a thicker one because it's one of the first Lift, lift the Flaps. Um, so you read the information, it's educational about the dinosaurs, but then there is a game you play where you look for the purple dinosaur and lift the flaps. My almost one year old kicks his little legs and grabs the flaps and these are actually super durable because if my one year old can lift the flaps and pull them down and not rip them, it takes quite a bit of strength if you're going to rip it. So these are great. If you have a little one that's just learning how to read, we have a whole series of a uh, called the very first reading series. It's library bound and it is a dual reader. So mom reads one page and the child reads the other page. And it actually teaches the kids the phonetic sounds kind of in the order that they would learn how to read them in school. So if you have little ones struggling with reading, that would be a major recommendation I would give to you to bring that into your house or if you're trying to teach your children how to read before they start kindergarten or give them a little bit of a head start it would definitely be worth investing in I am actually planning on getting it this summer for my older two kids but if you don't have the money to buy all of that all at once we do have our individual phonics readers in the back is um, information for how to use this book as an educational resource for your kids if I can get the pages to open. So all the information that you would need to know how to use it as an educational res resource and to teach your kids. They focus on a single phonetic sound. In this case, underpants for ants. You can guess what the sound is. It's ah. Um, it's a super cute story. It rhymes kind of like a Dr. Seuss book. So it's really easy to kind of read the next page and figure out what's coming next which is great for those kids that are just learning how to read. We have our whole collected volumes. Now these can be great for kids that are getting into chapter books, but they maybe don't have the patience for a chapter book because each chapter is its own individual story. Or maybe for kids that are maybe ready for chapter books, but the teacher says, no, we're not gonna let you read chapter books yet because it does happen. These are library bound with super thick, cushy covers. Um, they're great for bedtime stories. This is kind of the bedtime story du gras in our house right now. Um, the princess stories. There is an, a collected vol volume of farm tales that is illustrated by the same illustrator. And the really cool, fun thing is this was illustrated by Stephen Cartwright. And in all of the books that are illustrated by him, you can play a game where you find the little yellow duck as you read the book so it helps to keep their attention because after you read the page you can say okay where's the yellow duck which gives them an opportunity to move around a little bit 
We also have our illustrated story volumes. Um, super durable. They have a bookmark, a ribbon bookmark attached to them. Fun to read. Some are longer than others. I got caught reading Sinbad one night, which took me almost half an hour. So, you know, make sure you know what you're reading before you read it. Kind of double check before, but these are great. Keep the attention, keep the kids focus. Super durable. We'll be able to stay in your library forever and we'll be able to grow with them. Finally, we have a, a bunch of illustrated classics um, that are the full books. So we've got Little Women, Wizard of Oz, um, Fairy Tales, Aesop's Fables. But then this came out just in March. I had to have it right away. It is just a little condensed pink picture book version of the first Anne of Green Gables book. I told my husband I was buying this for my kids, but I bought it for me. And it just condenses the story of Anne of Green Gables down with these beautiful illustrations that kind of keep their attention. My girls love it. They look at the pretty pictures and the pretty flowers and it's a good time and it's a good way to introduce your kids to something that maybe you loved as a kid and are worried that they're going to love in an easy way. So those are our read along, read with me, read to me books. There are so many more on practically any subject you could think of. So if you have any questions, if you have a topic that you're looking for a book on because you know your kid is totally into that topic or the kiddo in your life is totally into that topic, let me know. I'm happy to help you find something because literally us born probably has something for it.